Today we're going to install the downstream oxygen sensor on a 2010 Honda Odyssey. Alright, I recently changed the upstream oxygen sensor and my check engine keeps coming on uh, for the oxygen sensor and I think it's time to change the downstream oxygen sensor since I've changed the upstream oxygen sensor. I have this book because, man, I like to get informed before I do my jobs. Uh, that way I don't hit the job blindly and I kind of know what to look for. Um, so I've replaced the upper and it's time to replace the uh, the bottom one. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the car. I have my jack here in place already. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up. Uh, AutoZone did have the renter. They do not have the renter tool anymore. So I had to purchase that one. Oh well, now I have the oxygen removal tool, which I could have probably just done. Uh, just grind it out of socket, but the hell with it i need to get it done so let me go ahead and jack up the car all right these honda's odysseys have a jack point right there so we're just going to go ahead and slide the jack into place probably be easier if you do this with both hands <laughs> there it is well my bad now we're going to jack the car up once you have the car elevated Please, always put some floor jacks. All life is precious. Okay, now that we're underneath the car, I am seeing that this oxygen sensor is gonna be very tricky to get out. Uh, because we have the connection way up here, which my hand probably doesn't fit because of a tiny little spot. And the oxygen sensor is right there. <laughs> and that one is also kind of crowded in there. I don't know if you can really see it. Um, but we're going to try to remove that oxygen sensor. Probably lower the car down. And probably try to unclip it from the top. Uh, it's probably my best bet. <laughs> so let me go ahead and knock this one loose. Wow. It didn't really take much to break it loose. Wonder if it was even tightened. There it is. So now this has a bunch of clips that we're just gonna take off. I think I'm just breaking them. <laughs> I am they're still louched in here oh man it's going to be a pain to get these out because I know the new one does come with new clips sorry so that's what getting in and out <sighs> here's the new one See, and it has new clips so, uh, good luck trying to get those out. But now, the next point is to lower the car down and unplug the sensor and get that sensor out to replace it with the new one. Sweet. You could also probably use a step stool. That way you don't have to lower the car down. Because it's a hassle. Alright, so I have the oxygen sensor up here on top. But, god. Bless me with fat ass hands, man. <sighs> Always. All right. So the way I had to do it is I had to pull the sensor back down and pull it out out of its little socket where it's at. Now I'm able to get the pigtail up here. Come on. Oh my God. This thing has been such a I'll be right back all right now that I have better access to it uh, it appears that there's a little latch here and you got to pop this open I don't know if I 
could really focus on that. And that's just making things worse. Okay, so, anyways, there it is. Off it comes. Now, goodbye, stupid sensor. Hello, new one. So, we're gonna throw this sucker down there. Plug in the sensor real quick. And do that with both hands real quick. All right, I have the sensor connected and we're just gonna try to put it back into its little place, into its little shimmy. I could feel it right here, so I'm gonna try to slip it in there. All right, all right, good enough. I just wanted to show what I had to move out the way. I had to bend that one up a little bit. Let me bend it back down a little bit and Disconnected the stupid hose. Connect the stupid hose back in. Uh, I'm gonna need some pliers. I did it in the heat of the moment with both of my hands. I was so mad. I squeezed those bad boys together. Pulled this one out from here too. And I took the cap off. Put this back on. Man, it's an asshole. I hope y'all got small hands. All right. I went ahead and removed one of these tabs and inserted the one that goes in there. Now we're going to remove this cap from here and we're going to place it into the exhaust right there. Oh, sorry, my hands all up in the way. Let me do that real quick. All right, you just want to tie it down. And there it is. Uh, out of the way of everything perfect sweet nice all right and that's how you change the oxygen sensor on a 2010 Honda Odyssey thank you for watching please like and subscribe don't forget to hit that bell all right let's get out of here before we get kicked out